are joining us aboard our sailboat Lumi here in Glacier Bay in Alaska. Welcome along as we sail around the national park in search of mountains to climb up and ski. <laughs> Things might seem calm and peaceful, but we are actually on our way to a safe anchorage to take shelter from an incoming snowstorm. But as for now, we are taking full advantage of the peaceful weather and some gentle downwind sailing. Today's sailing meal is pesto pasta with some salmon, freshly caught from a can, Alaska wild red sockeye salmon. Some nuts. Glacier Bay has some extremely interesting nature as the glaciers here have retreated very rapidly over 65 miles during the last 250 years. Basically the whole bay used to be covered by ice. The quick retreat of the glaciers here is mostly a result of natural processes, but the climate change has accelerated the retreat during the past few decades. Many of the inlets we are now sailing in were completely under the ice as recently as 150 years ago. Much of the nature here is therefore very young and there are for example no old growth forests. We were nearing our anchorage and would soon get to take a closer look. Very jam straight from Finland, straight from Juho's mother. <laughs> and some crackers that are a little bit weird. They're like salty and sweet. And hot chocolate. And from here we see what we are gonna try to ski the next few days. This one. And 
maybe this one. Next morning the scenery had changed dramatically and before getting to try our luck with skiing, we had to wade through the snowfall. Staring at the snowflakes and the tides that swept small flows of slush past us kept us entertained for a while. But we also wanted to get a closer look at the wildlife. So these sightseeing tours. I'm like the tourist with the big camera taking photos of all the wildlife. Mm -hmm. I take a photo, I take a photo. What what can you take already from the box? We've seen seals, sea lions, otters, lots of birds. Heard wolves. Heard some wolves. Heippa! Me tietää, että me on täällä kingejä. I don't know many of the birds here, but I know that this one is called the bully bird. Its favorite activity is bullying other birds of the best ice flows. Nice dinghy ride so far, but now we have the real challenge, the white water here. The tides here are quite amazing, so it's 5.5 meter tide right now, so that's like 18 feet. And we just had a quick snack here, and by this time, you know, in half an hour, 
The water is down like almost half a meter. We are gonna put Sohvi in the dinghy and see what happens. You are too scared. <laughs> Yes, yes, I am too scared. Hi, <laughs> 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 Next night we saw these northern lights, which evidenced that the skies had started clearing up. With the spring coming and the darker hours getting shorter and shorter, these would likely be the last northern lights we'd see for this season. We finally have a sunny day, so pack the dinghy and Go up the mountain somewhere over there. Yeah, yeah. Taisteloon. <laughs> 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 And this is a pretty cool anchorage, this mud hole here. Really nice. Time to get some turns in. Tässä on ihan hauskan näköistä tämmöstä maastoa. That's another fjord down there that we wanted to anchor in, but it's still frozen. That's good to know. Otko valmis reddaamaan? Okay. No, silti on pakka. Nyt on silti pakka. Se on se kansi. Ja se muuttuu vielä huonommaksi. This snow might look beautiful, but the snowfall had turned into rain just before stopping, so that formed a hard crust on top of the nice powder. This kind of snow is actually some of the hardest snow to ski, so I won't show you too much of it. Sometimes the way up is actually more fun than the way down.
about today. <laughs> I would give five stars for the views and zero stars for the smell. Especially zero. when it's not Zero stars. Maybe zero point five. Stay watch. Luckily enough, during the next few days, we did find some good snow as well. Yep, and this is the amount of snow that we have here. Pretty big snow banks here. Mm. Gonna be a long spring. remember what this one is called but I'm going to be skiing down there let's go I should use a floating line, but we don't have any. I try to lasso the outboard. Of course, the tide is coming up, so I need to be quick. I got lucky this time, but the dinghy was just close enough to do this. Otherwise, I would have been wading in the water. And you know, it's not really a huge issue if you're just wading, but the tide here is so big that, uh, worst case, is you're gonna have to swim. I don't really want to swim. Next time, I should maybe leave the dry bag on the shore. So if we need to swim, at least we can use that as a float. And there you can see. How the rope is under a big rock. Many good sailing stories end with a beer, and so does this one as well. Thanks to all of you who have been watching and sharing these videos. Special thanks to all the patrons who have contributed financially. Making these videos is now my job, so if you like the videos and want to pitch in, check out the Patreon page. 
And as always, the absolutely free way to support this channel is by subscribing here on YouTube. See you all next time. Bye bye.